welcome back to my channel. So in my last update, I told you that I wasn't really sure how many weeks I was and that I had an early pregnancy scan booked. Well, I've had the scan and I was so nervous. I think because of after going through my miscarriage and week after week going back and there not being anything there and things not being right, I think to go and have this first scan, you just pray and you're gonna see a baby in a heartbeat. And um, yeah, so we went. There is a baby, there is a heartbeat. So it's, yeah, brilliant news. And they confirmed my weeks because they measured the baby and they put me at nine weeks and four days. So yeah, I'm a bit further along than I thought I was. Um, but yeah, all really, really good news. On the same day that I had my scan, I also had my first antenatal booking appointment and that's when they gave me like my pack of everything in it, which I haven't really gone through all this yet, so I might go through this now. Um, but yeah, I had my first lot of blood tests and just discussed like my previous pregnancy um, with Ralph, just to recap, I my waters broke two weeks early. I went into hospital, I was already four centimetres, I fully dilated, went all the way, told I'd have a baby in an hour, but ended up pushing for three hours. He did not budge at all and ended up with a caesarean. So yeah, um, because of my caesarean with him, obviously they're a little bit concerned and obviously because of my last miscarriage, um, they have put me as high risk. So my next antenatal appointment is actually gonna be with a consultant, which actually, I don't know, I think might actually be good that I've got a sort of a consultant-led um, pregnancy with everything that's sort of gone on. So yeah, that will be my next appointment when I am six week, uh, 16 weeks. So I did try and get a picture of my first scan, but in the early pregnancy unit, they literally will not give scan pictures. And I even asked if I could take a picture of the screen, but they said no. Obviously in that ward, they are dealing with sort of miscarriages and things like that and I think it's just easy for them to just say no to any sort of pictures and photography so I haven't got a scan picture yet but I have got my 12 week scan in a few weeks so I haven't got that long to wait. Even though I didn't get a scan picture I am just so grateful to the EPU unit for giving me an early scan. Like this pregnancy I just really haven't taken this for granted and it's just been that worry in the back of my mind the whole time that something might happen like before and to just have this little bit of peace of mind it's just amazing obviously you can imagine we were quite emotional when we had this scan and as soon as they turned the screen around to me and I just saw that baby I just burst into tears it, it's just the biggest relief okay so I've got this wallet which is really handy to keep everything in but it's got loads of information on it like what you should ask your midwife how to look after yourself what foods to avoid um, about baby's movements signs of labor and when you need to call your like maternity unit so it's quite handy but in it I have just kept everything so obviously I've got your antenatal book which you get every time you're pregnant and um, so I got this on my booking appointment and we've already gone through quite a lot of the information but obviously they'll just fill this in throughout my pregnancy and I've got my blood test forms for 28 weeks in the back and then I've just got some information on pregnancy screening tests and about ultrasounds and things like that I've got my bounty pack, which you get every time you're pregnant. So in this we have the Emma's diary book. And that's literally a week by week diary of what it feels like when you're pregnant. I have me and you and your pregnancy guide from Bounty, which got a lot more information in as well. There's a few, web, um, a few leaflets for being pregnant, planning for your child's future. And also you get a packet of pregnant care vitamins and a pen. 
So I think I'll leave that update there. I just really wanted to tell you that I am pregnant and that the scan went well. So from now on, I'm going to start doing like regular updates. So from 10 weeks, I'll do an update and that will cover more about how I'm feeling, symptoms I'm experiencing, maybe how the baby's developing, uh, what I'm eating maybe, just anything that I'm that's going on in that week of pregnancy. So if you're pregnant or would just like to follow my journey, then please subscribe to my channel and I'll be doing an update every week. Obviously you still won't see these first early stage ones until I'm three months, so after that it will be every week. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.